can't believe- Hello, miss. Oh, there you are, Jimmy. I'll make this quick. Your mom has sent you a Christmas present. Just great. I know. You are very lucky your mom is so nice. You may go now. Don't forget to get more tea for Dr. Crabblesnitch. I love hot dogs. I wish someone would Next time I drink cough syrup. Hey! Oh, <laughs> it's you. Is that any way to greet your new boss, Harrington? Well, is it? Hmm, uh, no. No what? No, sir. That's better. At ease, girls. Listen, <laughs> boss, those grease monkeys are making life very difficult for Gord. That's because Gord was showing one of their girlfriends a good time. Some leader you turned out to be. Father says leadership is about looking after those you lead. He taught me that right before he laid everyone off. So what do you want me to do? Send them a message all over their dirty little slum. Why should I? Because you're the boss. Exactly. I'm the boss, and I'll go send the message.
Just my friggin' luck! You're on the wrong Oh, cool! How you doing? Dude, thanks a lot, friend. Good work. Miss Phillips will be proud. Damn, I'm good. Not too bad. Somebody is gonna get their freaking lights knocked out! Who could ever call this art? Glad that's done. I like the cafes too, but you're needed. mean anything after high school. This sucks. There's never anything good on TV. What? War footage and natural disasters doesn't do it for you? Nice place you guys have found. I think I'll take it. What do you want, Hopkins? I want you gone. Get lost. Show me a oh, thing about touching it. Get out. Come on. You want to get real now? Your crew just great. Too easy. You're gonna get creamed! Getting scared, Pinhead! This is too easy! Show me your stuff, man! Oh, I'm just a That's how it's done.
my friend. I think I might spend too much time in my Amigo! I need your help! Amigo? Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. That guy's gone even crazier. He thinks algae is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algae and Lola? I know. It's crazy. Everyone knows algae likes blondes. Listen, find algae and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. like me now leave me alone you br where's algae you walking beanpole mm, he's at the pizza parlor okay please let me go now I told fight, you he fight, knew where fight. algae was you guys shut up Gary easy. you guys get algae and bring him to me at the clubhouse you guys take care of this pathetic excuse for a human being I was hoping you'd stay. Help me! Please, anybody! You don't even think Take about that. punching the hand! Now I'm going to hit you really hard! Oh, thanks so much, Jimmy! Hey, I was lying when I told Johnny that Algie is at the pizza parlor. You gotta go help him! I have more important things to worry about! Algie, you're in so much trouble with Johnny Vincent and his boys. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my father. But Lola, I thought Will that me and you... up, that's so... Big boned, not fat. I thought you liked me. <sighs> you said you did. I do. I, I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, no, no. Oh, but, oh, 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 wait. Smart ass. Ridiculous women. Oh. Look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought she liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. 
You both better get over oh, it. No. Listen, we gotta get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging out with his girlfriend. Oh, Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, oh, you better pedal for both great. of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. Oh. But, uh, but, I was just helping Lola study, honestly. I'm so scared. What? Well, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go find him. There they are, on those bikes! Is that Algie? On a girl's bike? Here they come! I'll hold them off. Just try not to crash into anything, Chad. One down! You want a piece of this small stuff? There, Jimmy. Just hold them off a little long. You can thank me for saving you later, but I seriously can't be seen with you losing. You're worried about your reputation? Oh, wonderful! You found him! Good job, Jimmy. You do have your uses after all. Well, thanks for all the help, Jimmy. Perhaps you could come over to the observatory and play a game or two of Grottos and Gremlins with us sometime. Um, no. Another job well done.
Of course I love you, Johnny. No, you don't. Love is complicated. That didn't seem complicated between you and that Gordo kid. I'm gonna kill him! Johnny, please! We've been over that. He's sweet, but it was so innocent. Get off! Oh, I love it when you get angry, Johnny. I really do. You're so bestial. Hey, Jimmy. Hey! What are you doing here? Looking for you, Johnny. At Lola's house? Yeah! Be nice to each other. You know what I like about you two? You're both so straightforward, so quick to judge, so fast. Ain't no one fast like me. Really? So you could beat Jimmy in a race? Definitely. I heard he was pretty fast. This little twerp? <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, I think we've got a little challenge. I just love challenges. They make me so excited. We don't have to worry Remember, about Remember, a wheel ain't kids. a wheel without... We're gonna break you! Right, Jimmy, you won. Well, of course my bike wasn't tuned right. I'm gonna head to the shop and do some work on it. More bike talk? I'll meet you guys later. You look great in this light. Ooh. Oh. 
You speared my lipstick, you beast! <laughs> and that's that. Hey, you! Boring day! Hey, good looking. What's up? Oh, you're so angry. But I think you've got a softer side. Haven't you caused enough trouble? That's not fair. I'm a nice girl. I'm nice to everyone. Now, everyone hates me. <laughs> Look. I'm sorry. Well, okay. But now Johnny and his boys won't even speak to me. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Okay. But I left all my things in the abandoned tenements where they hang out. My address book, my keys, my perfume, my lipstick, even my laundry. Everything. Now I've got nothing. I don't have much money. That's too bad. Maybe you could get them back for me? You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? I'd be very grateful, Jimmy. <laughs> very grateful. I'm all right.
Now we're talking. I don't think I'll ever be happy. If this again. track's no, nearby, no. you're on the wrong side of it. Taking out the trash. Looks like that's what I have to do. I just love wrecking things with my hammer. Gotta use the right tools for the job. This might come in handy. What have we here? Good, what can I say? I'm gonna take you down! Huh, there he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about oh. you. And second, what do you think I've been doing? 
Tad fights for me, Gord fights for me, Johnny, well, he certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me, right now, everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys, all because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's gonna be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes, everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. Whatever. See you later. Johnny is so I can finish him off. I know where he is, but I ain't telling you nothing. You're gonna get free. Hey, come on. Who won? Me! <coughs> Jimmy Hopkins! That's who! Who won? You! Who? <coughs> Jimmy Hopkins! Correct! <coughs> That's right, ladies! Me! I'm the daddy now! You treacherous little snake! You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny! You laugh at me? You turn on me? You get it on with that harlot who I... I love? Uh, I'm gonna destroy you! All right, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished! You'll learn to keep your hands off my girl! Get out of here! The cops! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Stop! I'm an officer of the law! Get back here! He's gonna get all you grease 
balls. Better One start running. Down. That's all the I'll get to the rain. Better start running. You do what I say. All right. I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola. You win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you. So maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands and brains the size of peas. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? I'm messing with you. <sighs> Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? <clears throat> so, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him, but whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary, Gary! What a jerk! You don't even call me a dork! Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? <sighs> Whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. You're a jerk. And you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe oh. next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really scared. I take down oh. linebackers every day, pal. Oh. Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Ouch. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Ooh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. Losers. Petey, get up. I, mean, you I think we found some new people to have some fun with. Jimmy, I gotta go. Did you hear the I wonder. Felt like ages.
I may be a loser, but at least I've got loser friends to hang out with. Whatever. We wouldn't let you into our gang, Pete, because you're weird. Weird? Look at you, you've got a weak bladder. Hey, Algy, I need some help. I've got a plan to take over those jock scum. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, so what do you say, Algy? Us help you? Yeah, think of everything I've done for you since I got here. You? You're like a bouncer. We're a bit above helping people like you. I mean, get real, duh. Pee stain. Now you need my help. Forget it. Damn. Well, you know what you gotta do now, don't you? What, beg? No, get to Ernest. He runs that click with a rod of iron. You get him on your side, and you got the rest of the meeting out of the palm of your hand. How, by joining the trigonometry club? No, that would never work. You gotta show him who's boss. You might be on to something. See you later. Hey, wait, Jimmy. Can I come for once? The Fibonacci sequence Never doing is simply beautiful. Hey, losers. Mind telling me where your fearless leader is? I'm afraid your diplomacy skill is too low. We won't tell you. He's at the observatory, but don't tell him I told you. Forget it, Hopkins. You're not getting in without the key code. Okay, okay, it's 1138. I'm begging. This looks useful. Your actual management won't save you, Hopkins! Are you still trying, Jimmy? You are bloody-minded, I have to give you that! Well, that was refreshing. Sorry about that. I will beat you for that! Hey! That hurt you much more than it hurt me. That is what you get, punk! Alright, kids. I'm in a crap mood today, so just shut up and get to work. Alright, you're getting somewhere now.
Shutting up and working? It works! You better try that again, son! I guess you're not useless. Good work, Hopkins. I guess you're not useless. You're showing promise, Hopkins. All sorted. I may be a loser, but at least I've got loser friends to hang out with. Whatever. Theo, you want some of me? Hey, losers. Mind telling me where I your fearless that. leader is? <laughs> I'm afraid your diplomacy skill is too <clears throat> He's at the observatory, but don't tell him I told you. Thank you. Forget it, Hopkins. You're not getting in without the key code. Okay, okay, it's 1138. Why must you always resort to unnecessary violence? What are you doing? 
Give it up, dork. You work for me now. You're pathetic. You've defeated my weakest compadres. You've just met your match. I want us to be friends. I need your help. I've had friends like you. The kind who treat you like dog muck on their shoes. No thanks, bud. Come on. It's my brains against your brawn. Welcome to hell, Jimmy Hopkins. One day I'll be rich and you'll be sorry. Watch out! Flying potatoes! Oh, you like this, Jimmy? <laughs> you like this? <sighs> Got a present for you! This is for you, Jimmy! Get along? No, can't because you're a bastard! Why do you have to be such a bully, Jimmy? Why? You think it's funny now, but one day I'll invent a better nuclear bomb! Then you'll be sorry! Yeah, I Maybe now he'll listen to me. Here! Here, just take it! You're just like everyone else, picking on the little man. I'm not like everyone else. <coughs> Honestly. Now listen, we both want the same thing, to teach those jocks a lesson. From now on, we're buddies. You have a funny way of showing friendship. We're friends. We work together. Hey! Only athletes are allowed in here! Whatever. I'm better than any of you losers. Oh yeah? How about we beat you in a game of dodgeball? I just wish I could hit the pupil! They the need it! They want it! Who's on top? We're on top! You don't have a top. chance to get- We got the power of friendship behind our team! You forget that I'm an expert! Hope you arrange your funeral in a day! You guys don't have a hope in heck of winning! Excuse me! Prepare to taste the bitter fruit we're of- We're gonna win, cause we're better! Fight to the finish! You guys don't have a hope in heck of winning! There's nothing to fear! I'm not but afraid of you! Lose your brain! Hell. You better be ready Excuse to lose, me. cause I'm ready to Feet win! Are visiting hours, win! Oh. 
This is my time to shine, so just know that! My mom says I'll win! <laughs> you guys are the worst! We're gonna win, cause we're better! It's time to teach those rogues a lesson! But try not to lose this time, guys! It's time to keep those rogues Bucky doesn't lessons. lose! <laughs> Sitting hours win. Did, did we really win? This is so messed up! Okay, you won. I guess you can use the clubhouse. Thanks, I'll be sure to visit you often. Good to see you haven't forgotten me. I suppose you want to train again. It's all about really hurting you. of an old drunk, huh? Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. Done and done right. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Pete. Yo, Jimmy! I'm over here! Give me five, dude! Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, cat. Looks like your homies took care of some lames for us. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't get fresh with your homies. <laughs> Can you please talk normally? This is my normal style of rapping, bro. <laughs> All right, enough. What's my quest? Ah, right. Salutation, Sir James. It seems my clever brethren have taken control of the funhouse at the carnival. Well done. All that education and now you run a funhouse? Genius. You simple-minded noble foot soldier. <laughs> the football team is going to be there this afternoon. You could really cause them some problems. Okay. Explain it to me on our way over. There's not much to explain. Just access the control rooms through the maintenance doors. Then do your thing. Cool. Moonwalk. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Huh.
Rome wasn't built in a day, but I backed my resume every day for three weeks. Sure, I'd go back to school, but it costs. Sure, it's worse than disease.
Gee, thanks! I don't want trouble. Uh, I just want you to know, I didn't mind that. Your task is complete, brave knight. I'm gonna stick that plunger so far! Don't bother with this stuff, kid! It's gonna ruin your life! You're coming with me! That hurt you much more than it hurt me! Right, Chinga better than Kyoko Yuchini. That is not allowed! It's... I'm on fire! Good to see you. Make it quick, Ernest. Now, as our new leader, I have something I need you to do for me. What? Uh, I mean, look, do you want to take down the jocks or what? Of course I do. Yes, well, I have a plan. Okay, what is it? Well, what I need are some inappropriate pictures of someone they care about. You want pictures? Yes, it's a complicated plan, all right. I need some naughty pictures of that Mandy girl. I'm sure you do, but what has that got to do with this? Oh, oh, this? This is purely for the purposes of this plan. I'm not like that at all. You want me to get incriminating pictures of the head cheerleader just for your plan? The kind of pictures that could land me in jail, or worse? It's not easy being the boss. <laughs> Man, this better be good.
Trying. Maybe one day you'll get it. Oh my god! This is disgusting! I'll have to go change! Oh my god! Can't wait to get out of these clothes. in a world of trouble, young man. You pervert! Get out of the girl's dorm! Stay up too late now. ready to dazzle everyone with my charisma and popularity again. This is much better. I hope it doesn't make me smell like a nerd. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've got some nice pictures oh, for you. I can't wait to see them. I'm an avid student of anatomy, you know. Job well done. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Oh, can't you just get lost? Or help, we're trying to get out of here. Come on, Muscles. We've not got long. What are you talking about? The jocks are coming to kill us. Oh, thanks to you and your sordid little pictures. You wanted them. You're the sicko. Oh, a healthy interest in sexual matters is natural during puberty, bud. That's why I was having those dreams. Anyway, this is not important right now. I am about to die! We all are! When are they coming? What about your famous defense system? Oh, it's broken, okay? Can't you fix it? I need a bit of time. But we have no time. We're dead! Dead! I love you, my friends! Look, you fix it, I'll hold up the jocks. Now, where's that gun thing? Get out of here, you We're sickos! We're coming in, you We're coming to get ready you. for you, nerds! Doomed! These feelings are natural, and I'm about to die for them! Just go fix the defense system, and I'll take care of the goons. Come on, you wimps! We're coming to get, get you! Get out of here, sickos! Thank <laughs> you. 
My work here is done. Hey, Jimmy. I've had a brilliant idea. Another one. Many are called, but few are chosen. Luckily for you, I've chosen you to help me carry out this little masterpiece. My finest work! What are you talking about, you lunatic? I'm talking about what we're always talking about, amigo. About bullying the bullies. About my favorite dish. Revenge! Revenge? Against who? Who do you think? The football team. Those overdeveloped, underbrained lords of our little manor. Reduced to a bunch of sniveling wretches, bowing down to my... You mean our? I meant our superiority. <laughs> Us ruling like gentlemen over the peasants. Us? Us, yes. You ruling, of course. Me offering some sage advice. Doing all the thinking, that sort of thing. Merlin to your King Arthur. Whatever. What's the plan? Well, first, we need you to get the school mascot costume. And how do you suggest I do that? Well, go follow them. Wait for us to distract the gorillas. Go! While we still have hope! Like a newborn baby.
times, you just gotta take the bull by the horns. As usual, the world takes an enormous crap on my head. That's that nonsense dealt with. Hi. Hey. I know, it's funny. I'm the girl in the dirty pictures, ha ha. What are you talking about? Ugh, don't pretend you don't know. Everybody knows. Knows what? There's posters of me all over town. Oh, those. Now everyone thinks I'm a slut. Great, my parents will be so proud. I'll probably get expelled. Look, it could be worse. How? How exactly could it be worse? I mean, sure, I've been a bitch at times, been nasty, but I don't deserve this. My life is over. I mean, I've always wanted to be a model, but not like this. Everybody's laughing at me. I can't bear it. Everybody's always laughing at me. Well, maybe you're not as insecure as I am, okay? I just wanted to be popular. Now everybody hates me. Well, I guess I deserve it. I'll tell you what. You wait here. I'll get rid of those posters for you, or at least cover them up. Would you? I'd do it myself, but I can't deal with it. I'm really losing it here. Just hang in there. I'm gonna lay your butt out like a newborn baby. I think I've got some mayonnaise on my pants! You know, Lola, hey, she's, she's really hot it. you actually talked to me the other day. Good for nothing, Bob. Every one of them nerds, they deserve it for being smart. Did you not see me watching that, you asswipe? Just highly inappropriate. Oh no, you've been defaced. Luckily, I have an almost unlimited supply of fresh posters. A 
gotta work out later. You like that, ain't you? Here comes your pound cake! Watch Go it! Go all day! You like that, ain't you? Let's get down to business. Thank you very much. Good thing my wife didn't see me looking at that. So, is it worth it? Did you think that? Incredible. Come here. That was cool, but don't tell anyone, okay? I think we can call that a wrap. Hi! What they're looking at?
rip out your heart and beat it to you. You don't mess with me, ever. Yes, Candy from Ohio, you would be a fair queen for me, in that little thong, and with those massive piles of silicone. Initially, you'd think, who's that handsome stranger? Then I'd walk into the bar, impress you with my suavity? Um, my suavability? Uh, how suave I was! I'd look up and say, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? And you'd say, take me to the hay bar. Hey, Ernest. <laughs> what's that well, you're reading? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Just some... some history homework. <laughs> cool. Can I see? It's personal. <laughs> personal history. Sounds interesting. Yes. Well, um, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, listen. The big game is today. Operation Trojan Cow is ready to proceed. Operation Trojan Cow. It's my master plan. My spies have already been gathering the information that will bring about the downfall of the jocks at this school. So I guess I'll be needing this. Does this work? Yes. Rendezvous with my agents in the field. I must bet you a task to prove yourself worthy. Spectacular! Darn greasers! Always ruining my science experiment! Let's see your moves, mascot boy! for you. Here, take this glue bottle. It's full of glue. Go create a sticky situation on the team benches. Get it? <laughs> sticky situation. Yeah, I got it. Not as good as wrestling match. <laughs> Funny <laughs> joke. Uh, hey Tim. Careful! Patrols are everywhere. We are in grave danger at this very moment. You're in grave danger of a knuckle sandwich if you don't get on with it. That's what. Here's a ball we've rigged. Get to the shed by the field and swap it for the real game ball. Come on, you can do it! That was wicked already close!
this way. Interception! Is it quit messing around before I lose my patience and hurt you? <laughs> no, but it'll do. Okay, here's the deal. The jocks keep their game sports drink in a cooler. Go urinate in it. Enhance it, if you will. Screw up the game. This is too much for me. Yuck! Like, Nicky, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> That's like totally grody! Jimmy is perilous, but the rewards are glorious. Cut the crap, Melvin. It was sort of funny the first 20 times, but it's getting old now. Scatter them over the football field. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. No, shows off my figure, doesn't it? But enough about me. How do I mess up those jocks? Straight to business, eh? Okay, there's a switch box on the scoreboard on the field. Get to it and switch it. Sounds easy. What will it do? It'll change the text of the scoreboard. I reprogrammed it. You'll like it. The jocks won't. Oh! 
Who is that Kim? Yeah, who is that Kim? Oh, it's that little Squirt Hopkins. Yeah, that Squirt Hopkins. You're dead, Hopkins. Yeah, dead, Hopkins. Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? I'm gonna lay your butt out like a newborn baby, dude. Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great. So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. 
But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, Yo, Jimmy. What's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, it's Jimmy! You're so funny, Jimmy. Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Ooh. Great. Thank you for that show, <laughs> Don. Wow, hey, Jimmy! Oh, yeah. All right, boys, that's all I got to say. Later. So Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. See you later. I love that guy. Bye, guys. Let's roll. Pete! Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I? Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. Jimmy, forgive me, but I gotta go. <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete, enough. Yeah, shut up, Pete. The court must know their king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like... The mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Take a dump on the doorstep. <laughs> no, you homunculus. Not a dump. It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is going to be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me. Well, I guess this... I'll take out anyone! Down, anyone! Scumbag. What were you thinking, son? You brought it on yourself, Buster! In this assignment, I'd like you to pay particular attention to the emotions you experience and try to get them onto the page.
Excellent, Chinny. Mind if I keep it? I'm great! Done and done right. Word up! Check it out! Oh, yeah! Stop that! <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Welcome. I told you it was a good price.
Well, why don't you watch where you're going? I did it! That's great. Listen, we've got a problem. I'm the king, Petey, the king! Whatever. You're a king with a load of problems. I've only been gone a couple hours. What could have happened? All kinds of things. You remember that promise you made about restoring law and order and improving the school? Let's just say it ain't exactly coming true. Well, if anyone wants a fight, I'm right here. I think Gary must be behind it, but trust me, everyone wants a fight. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man. What? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the uh, library uh, is full uh, of rats! Uh, and I got my pre-pre-pre-med test next week, amigo! Uh, you're such a lame old... Uh, Some king you turned out to be! Oh, how I long for the old days! Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us! Get off! Oh, did you piss yourself again, Algie? Ew. No, oh, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda? Oh. Right. What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. to see if any of them are still lurking in there. These crates? Yes, those crates. The rats appeared once those books were delivered. Everything seems to be fine, miss. I think I got them all. Thank you, Jimmy. If you have any late fees, I think we can just forget about them. I did that a long time ago. I, I mean, thank you, miss. <laughs> Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. I don't believe oh. this! Oh no! How did it happen? Hopkins, come here, boy! Hey, what's oh. up, Mr. Burton? What's up? Oh, what's up? My gym oh. is up in flames! Look! Damn, how'd that happen? As if you don't know! You're a degenerate! To think I trusted you! It wasn't me! 
Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. Ha! <laughs> bullying? I don't care about bullying. In fact, I encourage bullying. That's right. Builds moral fiber, makes men. Yeah. Because you didn't make the team. You had to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, you bully. You're a pig. You ruined my life. What are you talking about? I never wanted to be on the team. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jockstrap. Yeah, well, I called the police. You'll be killed for this, my boy. It wasn't me. You're done for, Hopkins. Help. What? Who was that? It's Yuri. Oh There's people trapped inside. Oh, I'm really scared. Mommy! Man, you guys are pathetic. I'll get him. Where's the fire extinguisher? By the stairs next to the locker room. But don't think I've forgiven you, Hopkins. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. I'm gonna rip you out your heart. Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. <sighs> are you gonna be all right, sir? Ugh, it's that pompous ass hat trick. He's bad-mouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. Says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, oh, the treacherous Machiavell, I love it! Good. Me too. Her 
electric call me at twelve. If you showed your interest in me by the washrooms are really.
You ignorant pop or get out! It's not my fault! Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Who you calling a tramp? I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him! Now he's gone! Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens! I bet it was you, Hopkins! Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird! King of the school! Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone! Find him, King! Quit poking me! You're both acting crazy! Cut it out! Now tell me, where's Johnny? I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. I don't know, don't care, but he sure does yell a lot, huh?
Jimmy, you gotta get me out of here. You gotta get into the control room to open the door. Get an orderly uniform from the laundry room. The dropout set me up. What are you waiting for? You want your break? Man, this is so boring. Oh, oh free you oh, wankers! Stop or I'll beat you harder! Did you get me, kid? Hey, let's go out the back way. Follow me! You're asking for it! Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. You can count on Jimmy. Crashing in style! Well, all right.
I'll teach you to think bad thoughts. I always, always... Are they ever gonna learn? You brought it on yourself, Buster! You kids don't know how ignorant you are. There's so many schemes and plans within plans. Anyways, shut up and get to work. <laughs> Shutting up and working? It works. Good work, Hopkins. I guess you're not useless. You're a step above the usual brat, son. Good show. And that's that. I was just looking for one of those. Use that. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking. Let's fight. Let's. Be on! Quit now before I embarrass you more! You can't beat me! I'm a black man who ripped your head off! What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. 
My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. You wanna run me? Right. If it wasn't for him, I'd never stay. In you, place. kid, get to school. Him. You might as Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Ah! 
much better. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. Hey, Jimmy. Think you can help me out? in the sky. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da, now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men, let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on, wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. steal the preppy's trophies no way man after the town he's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy we don't care about those stuck-up jerks the townies really 
Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. You think that's funny? Broken bike, broken bones, broken arms. Sucker! Ow! It bit me! Ha 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 ha! Better hope you don't get rabies. I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> and not put it
Well, Pauper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of the school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's that nonsense dealt with. That didn't Who knew hurt. That the world is run by all the whips that beat up the Not bad. They're just totally Only a total one. <sighs> Gotta pay attention. This here is for you. Get lost, sucker. I better go study. Bye. Only, excuse me, what do you...
Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke! It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me! Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is towny kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale.
Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy! They're locked! Ah! Oh, that's gotta hurt! <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh, this doesn't look so good! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electric It's in the office. Now that we have the power restored, we've got to get to the chem plant.
bitch, dumbass. Pick this up. Okay, now we're talking.
Save yourself! Run! <laughs> You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. There we go. Done.
What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. What have we here? Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like meat. Jimmy! Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people. For peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Hey! Come on, you 
hero, walk tall, don't ya? Hit me hard in my daddy. You nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! A great plan! You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! Dirt, someone's here to see me. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You'll get really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Crush! Kill! Kill! Oh, my daddy's sick. I'm fighting now. I need a bleeding dirt. for it. This 
is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. I swear to God. Oh. Not so big now, are you? Oh. Right in the face! For Johnny. Sheep shot. You bunch of bitches! <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Special delivery! If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow! You'll never catch me, Hopkins! You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Got something for ya! Poor little Jimmy! All alone in big scary Bullworth! Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help! So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend! You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy! And once we were friends, it was all so clear! You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious! Let Jimmy have his fun! Let him play his childish little games with earnest to swoop in and take it all! It was like lining up dominoes! It all felt together so perfectly! You were off wasting your time with whores like Lola and I was in the door planning! While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the If I win, you're just another punk! 
you win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> no! I can take you, Hopkins! Any regrets, Jimmy? Get off me! After you're expelled, step back! Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier.